Hello guys, Sim Spencer here, and today I'm playing a different game besides Sim Sims 3 and Deus Ex. I'm playing Sim City. Yay! Now, um, Sim City. Hi, cat. Um, Sim City has been through hell and back because EA made some stupid decisions. In my eyes, they're not that stupid, but some people really don't like them. And, you know, I respect that. I think that it's fine. But, you know, they fixed most of the bugs that were affecting the gameplay. And um, as you can see here, well, you could see there, it said offline coming soon. And one of the problems, let me turn down this music. One of the problems with uh, SimCity is the fact that you need to be online at all times. Which stinks because, I mean, if you don't have your internet up, you can't play at all. So they're coming soon with a offline mode, which seems pretty cool. So anyway, um, we are going to be playing in this place called Lewis Landing. Now, I've been in this region for a while. I actually haven't played in about a week. Um, I play this region with a few of my friends. And um, so we're just going to come here and work on some stuff. This isn't going to be like a campaign. This is going to be more just like, hey, I'm playing right now, so uh, check it out. Yeah, one of those. But, uh, so, yes, we'll wait for this to load. Anyway, uh, so this town is called Lewis Landing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, cities in this region. And I'll show you each one. One of them I don't use at all. I've kind of forsaken it at this point, but, um, We'll see how it goes. So let's give this a minute to load. Here we go. Perfect timing. So this lovely town right here is Lewis Landing. I need to get familiar so familiarize myself with the I can't talk today with the controls because I haven't played it in a in a little while. Okay. So this is Lewis Landing. <clears throat> uh it's a pretty big town. I mean I'll show you the region view. So here's this. Here's my friend Don's Hail Santa. Don't ask me why he named him that, um, but he did. Then over here you've got Rocky Way Ridge, Starlight Fields, Half Moon Banks, Thunder Ridge, and Carson Shores, which I this is the one that I was saying like I've forsaken. But um, so we're gonna be playing in this one for the most part. We may go over to a few of these. I'm not sure, but um. Go back into town mode. Now, I do have an academy set up here. I do have the cities of tomorrow, obviously. Um, I have an academy set up. And I've tried to make this city pretty futuristic. I mean, I have maglev towers and stations all over here. Problem is, people don't seem to use them as much. So, I'm going to try and find a way that I can increase riders um oh city's first apartment tower i think that's this one yeah i've been trying to increase density recently and it looks like it's working so that's good so over here we have our dump our garbage dump and we have some commercial over here this is kind of more of the busy area of the city i actually have a modern temple because I like how it looks, and I like, because it's not really any specific religion. It's just, it's, it's a modern temple. Everybody can go and just be happy. That's what I like. And if you notice, it has the plum bob right here from The Sims, so. Easter egg, not really. It's not really an Easter egg, but you know what I mean. Um, so, they have this whole kind of district over here which is mostly residential. I have a few commercial over here and then I have these two landmarks. I have a Maxis Man statue and I have a giant garden gnome which is so cute because he's so small and he kinda just like sits here. A little creepy sounding. But when he's operational he actually like moves and it's kinda funny. Um, me personally I love SimCity. It's one of my favorite games. Now, I grew up playing SimCity 4, and what I did was I got SimCity 4 originally because I hadn't I hadn't heard good things about SimCity 5, 
and I played it once, and I'm like, you know what, this is absolutely terrible for today's standards, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna buy SimCity 5, because I mean, honestly, the reviews people were giving it, now that they've fixed some of the things, it's really not that bad. I mean, <clears throat> the traffic is a little bit annoying, but other than that, it's a really cool game. I enjoy the fact that it's it's so detailed in terms of how it operates. I just, I, I enjoy that. And that's just my opinion. You may not like this game, therefore I don't know why you're watching it, but <laughs> if, you, if you have other opinion, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind. I understand that certain people view different games differently. I mean, heck, I don't, I'm not a fan of Call of Duty franchise, but some people are fanatics about it, and I respect that. I mean, I feel like everybody has see there's the mag love glitching everybody has that one game type that they enjoy for me it's usually simulation games um some first person shooters i don't really play real i don't like realistic first person shooters like call of duty i enjoy ones that are science fiction they, for example like deus ex um halo those are those are my kind of games i enjoy things that are fiction I usually read fiction books, things like that. Um, so we can't add on to anything because we have everything in our in our uh, region, which is kind of the disadvantage of this game. I think that's the only thing I dislike is um, the fact that once you have it in the region, you can't put it. Well, you can put it on there, but it's pointless. There should be like benefits if you have more than one. That's just my opinion, though. Aw, little elevators. Who are you? What's your name? Hickleblay Ublater. <laughs> I think I mentioned in um in one of my Sims videos that I I would love to be able to speak Simlish. It would just it's it's a fun language to speak. Like I would just have so much fun speaking it. I'd be like uh a Blanco Dizzy Durf everybody knows that one you gotta know that one um, but you know the whole sims franchise and the sims kind of like the every the pretty much all the sims games that have sims in it are centered around something about the base game like for instance the fact that there's a plumb bob right here ties into the original sims game and it's just it's neat how EA does that and that's a thing that I like about EA is that they kind of tie their games and not the sports games but um, their other games their their Sims games and I remember in Sims 2 and yes I've played Sims 2 before <sighs> I I remember playing it on my DSi and it had no relevance whatsoever to the real computer Sims like at all I felt really let down because I've seen people play, you know, like, Sims on the computer, and it was so cool, it was like, wow, this is a cool game, but I play this on the DS, and it's kind of just like, eh, this is kind of, this is kind of dumb, and I felt let down, it was kind of sad, but it's okay now, because we have all the Sims, and I'm happy now, not that I wasn't happy before, but. And now I'm rambling. Okay, um, so this is kind of like the rich district, if you want to call it that. We have a Millennium Park. The road setup I have here is horrendous. I have this, like, chunk of whatever this is completely intruding onto this road. For some reason, cars can still drive through, but who cares? I kind of have a little windy road. I like to do that with my, uh higher wealth districts it makes them look like they're some sort of expensive like uh, community and stuff like that I just think it looks cool so let's put on llama speed because I want this to get whoa what no no this stupid ah you knocked down my favorite building no you shall not redevelop here no Oh, I'm so mad now. I just went from really happy to really mad. Now these people are moving in. Low density. Dang it. 
This is medium density. This is kind of cool looking. Alright, so I think this is gonna be high density as well. Oh, good, they're building high density. Good, good, good. And I have this little progressive building over here that I got. It's kind of cool. When you, um, oh, I'm not insured? Oh, no. Oh, now I am. Okay. Um, every time you have a city, a disaster in your city, they actually give you a certain amount of money, which is kind of cool because it helps, like, with the relief, I guess. All right, we have abandoned buildings somewhere. I'm going to find them. I'm going to knock them down. Here we go. They're over here. We had this, like, episode over here where, um, there was a bunch of high wealth shopping places over here, but there weren't enough high wealth, uh, shoppers. So they went out of business. They were kind of like, all right, we're out. Bye. And it kind of didn't make sense, but this is a mess. Like, I don't even know. Uh, can I get rid of that? Yes, I can. Good, because we don't really need that there. I think I did that just to guide the maglev. There's a glitch right here that makes it... I tried to place a station there, and it, um... It kind of, like... You could see it. There's like this, these bars right here, and it's like a gap right here. It it messed it up somehow, and um, it screwed up the whole routing. But that's okay because you know, in The Sims, in Sim City, this is perfectly acceptable. You can just hop right off of this one and just sharp turn onto that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> like I said, Sims logic. But that's okay. It still looks cool if you look at it from far away. So, that's okay. Fire blazes out of control. Where? Are we getting more? We're getting a lot of high wealth. I'm really I'm proud of myself here. Can I just say that the music in this game is amazing? Just want to throw that out there because, like, it is just awesome. Especially this song it's playing. Because it comes with uh, Cities of Tomorrow. It's just so, like, ha. Ah, I love this song. I don't know what it's called, but it sounds cool. As I'll get up, so. So, our schools are good. We have coverage around anywhere that there is. I think we need some, uh. Let's. We should build a high school next, but that's 60,000, I think. Yeah, that's 60,000. So. I'm, we're not going to place it yet, obviously. I'm thinking we could put this over... No. No. Maybe, like, right here. And then we could, we could kind of, like, expand it along here. I think that would be good. Do... Actually, we could knock down this rich person's house. Sounds, like, mean, but... It's not my goal. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do that when we get enough money. We need 60000 for that. And what's wrong here? You sound Italian. I was actually, um... There was this song in Simlish. You know how artists would do their songs and translate them to Sim... Not translate them, but they would mix it around so it sounds like Simlish. Pretty much gibberish, anyway. But, um... There was a song, it's a popular song, I'm not going to say it just for copyright reasons, but he sounded like he was speaking, uh, I forget, I'm not really sure what language they speak in India, I'm, I'll be completely honest, but it sounded like an Arab language. It was really funny because Simlish, to me, sounds a little bit like a Asian language, just, just in my opinion. Um... But it was it was it was odd because I I didn't expect them to have that like vocalization. Did I really just use my money on that? See, when I talk, I completely distract myself from what I need to do, and this happens. But that's okay because we need we need a passenger terminal anymore. Anyway, let's put up. Boop. Done. 
sweet. Now we can get trains from um, Hail Santa over there. Cool. Alright, so we have all these, like, things. I'm trying to think, like, we need, we need more high wealth people, because that way we can have more people to work at these high tech industries. Speaking of, let's, um, he needs more room. Maybe we can, we can demolish this street here. Oh, but that would demolish, it's okay. Because that way, we can have it so it will, um, they can expand and make a bigger see so we can take this maglev track and kind of bring it out over here or not um, there we go and then that way we can just go over here and delete this whoa that's good okay and then now we should get a high-tech industry here because we have this house of worship and we have the progressive building and we have this too which is awesome to have if you have the technology for it because it takes your it's kind of gross but it takes your city's poop and pee and turns it into potable water which is which is always nice i mean a little bit poopy water and i just my phone's ringing okay So that's going to be the next episode. We are going to go over here. We're going to wait for this. We want to upgrade this tech industry because it has lots of room here. And then we also want to build a high school somewhere. Probably over here or in here. I'm not really sure yet. We'll figure it out though. So, yes. I will see you guys next episode. Have a nice day. Bye.